Tonight I'm taking a break from Windows Home Server and I'm going to be upgrading the CPU for this Inspiron 546. Now I bought this Inspiron 546 from the Dell Outlet. Every couple hours or so if you go to the Dell Outlet a Inspiron 546 will pop up with Windows 7 Premium for about $199. Now the Inspiron 546 has an AM2 socket so you can easily upgrade the processor to one of the cheapy uh, triples or quad core processors. The nice thing is, is that for the $199 price, if you get a 15% off coupon, which you can find through Tech Bargains or different places like that, that you can actually walk away from a Dell outlet with a $170 box. That comes with a 300 watt power supply, 300 gigs of RAM, a 320 gigabyte hard drive, which doesn't matter because we're storing on Windows Home Server anyway. But for basically $170, you can get yourself a Windows 7 Home Premium home theater PC. Now the front is kind of glossy, so it's got a high Wi-Fi acceptance factor. And because it's an AM2 processor, you can actually go through and get yourself a nice triple or quad core processor from between anywhere between $30 and $80, depending on if you go to Tiger Direct or Newegg or things like that. So this is a great opportunity. And tonight I'm going to show you how you can take a $170 Inspiron 546 and upgrade it to a home theater PC. Once you've made sure that you have the Inspiron unplugged and that you're grounded, you're going to undo the two screws on the back of the case and slide off the side panel. Now that you've done that, you're going to disconnect the fan connector from the motherboard. And then you're going to flip the latch for the setup. Now, what you want to do is you want to slide it forward, you want to pop it off, and then you want to slide it back to come off. and then this will come off. You can see here that this is the heat sink and the fan assembly for the AMD processor and you can see that underneath we have the AMD processor. This is different than those of you that work with the Intel processors. It sits differently. You just pop this little piece up. You'll hear it click and then the processor comes out. You want to be very careful with it. This is different because the pins go into the little holes that are there, and then we're going to change it out. As I showed you before, here is the Dell heat sink and fan that I pulled off, and here is the replacement that I'm putting on. You can see there is a major difference between girth and between the way it, it lines up. Um, this AMD came with the triple core that I had put into another machine earlier, so all I'm going to do is just use this one now instead of this one. Uh, you could probably use the regular one that's on there, but because I'm going from 45 watts up to 95, I'm going to be using the stronger, heavier one. Now that I am ready, I have my AMD Phenom that I have here and I'm going to set it in there. It'll line up with the corner to the corner. You can see that we have here. You push it down and everything slides in nice and easy. Then I go with my AMD fan. Now it's already got the thermal paste on the back so what I'm going to do is just hold everything up and set it down in the socket. I can set it down the right way, that would be much easier. And I will lock it in. It takes a little bit to line it up. You want to lock it in on the bottom of the foundation. Snap it into place, like I have here, and then use your fan clip and plug your fan clip back in. 
basically we are all set. I'm just going to run the wires over here, keep them out of the way. And we are now set. Okay, I just moved the camera back and what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the power supply. And I'm going to start it up. Fan starts, which is a good... Post up, good to go, starting windows. Started up much faster than it had before. And we are up and running. Sweet. It's updating the device driver software. You can see it in the lower right hand corner. set. It was that fast. It took about five minutes to do. Asking for a restart. And we are good to go.